Hey everyone, it's Amy. It's Friday. It's time for Frugal Fun Fridays. And yeah, you're probably seeing this kind of late in the day, and I'm sorry. But yeah. Um, upload times just suck. Okay. Today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite things, something I did a lot when I was growing up, but don't get to do very often now because we're just not off on the weekends at least not off when these happen I'm talking about yard selling yard selling is southerners love yard sales I mean love them so I'm gonna give you some of my best tips for saving the most money Tony's got some tips on here too if we think of anything else while we're going through the list we'll tell you all right First tip I'm going to say is to have a list. I mean, you may have some things in mind and then get out there and find everything, you know, just be like, ooh, 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 ooh. And then you get home and you haven't bought what you need. So, you know, always go with a list. If you're buying furniture, you want to make sure you have size ideas in mind. Measure the area where you're going to be putting the furniture. Trust me, if you're out in an open area, a piece of furniture doesn't look as big as it does in your house. Just trust me. Because <laughs> there was a table I wanted one day that would have never fit in the living room we used to have. <laughs> oh, okay, so have a list. Have your measurements. You may even want to take a measuring tape with you. Actually, I strongly recommend that if you're buying furniture. Did you have something to say, babe? No. All right, here's the thing. You got two options. You can hit yard sales early and get the best selection. You can hit them late when places are, you know, they're not wanting to take that stuff back inside. They don't want to deal with it. They want it gone. Unless it's one of those yard sales where they're just doing it to make money. Some people, the best yard sales ever are the ones where people just want rid of the crap. They don't want to have to box it up and take it to a thrift store or something like that. They just want it gone. So, I suggest looking over the yard sales in your area and starting with the ones that have the stuff that you really need. And, you know, you can, if you see something there you like that's just more than you want to pay, circle back around later in the evening. All right. When you do find things you like, do not ooh and ah. Show indifference. You just want to be like, oh, you know, whatever. Because, you know, you want to be able to haggle a little bit. You might want to say, you know, it's okay. It's not the exact color I was looking for. I really needed something smaller, something bigger. You know. Which brings us to haggling. Don't be afraid to haggle. A price point on something is just, it's just that. In fact, a good yard seller is going to put items or price items a little higher than what they actually want because they know people's going to haggle. And it's going to make the seller feel good when they get the actual money they wanted. And it's going to make the buyer feel good because they feel that they got it at a better price. So, obviously haggle. The only exception is, you know, if you know something's a really good price, don't try to bring people down. Give them what it's worth. Um, another great tip is to bundle. If you see several items you want, total it up in your mind of how much it's going to be according to the price tags. And then, you know, have an offer in mind. But the important thing is don't give your offer to the seller until they give you an offer on what they would like to have for those items because their offer may be lower than what you have in mind. Especially if the people just want rid of the stuff. So, you know. Again, that goes back to not showing your cards. Alright. Another thing. This is something Tony mentioned that I totally forgot is if you're going yard selling for the day don't put on your finest clothes don't 
And, um, you know, just wear something like that you'd wear around the house. Because when people, when a seller sees you wearing like designer labels and carrying yourself okay. like you got money, they're going to want that money. So they're not going to be willing to haggle. They'll find every excuse not to. Act humble. Be nice, obviously. I can't stand rude people. Um, but just be yourself. You know, you're going there. You want a good deal. You're not going there to impress people. <laughs> Something that's good to do. Wear a t-shirt with a funny saying on it. You know, a funny picture. Uh, get to know these people. I'm not talking to make friends with them. I'm saying get to know them. You know, you, you pull up there. You start looking at their stuff. You notice they have a whatever. They have a Dodge pickup sitting there. You start talking about how much you like Dodges. Get them talking. Get them smiling. If you can get a chuckle out of them a couple of times, they're going to deal with you better than you just walking up. How much for the TV? You know, find some points of interest. That's why I say again, like a shirt with a funny saying on it or a funny picture. If they see it, they're going to like it. They'll start talking to you. Uh, I've got a shirt that's got Garfield on it with a goofy look on his face. I've actually worn that a time or two going to the flea market. You know, people pick up on that. A lot of people love Garfield. They'll start talking to me about it. It's like, hey, how much for, you know, the uh, uh, metal alloy can piercer? So, just saying, be kind of friendly. And that goes with anywhere you're at. You know, it, it doesn't matter if you're walking into uh, Walmart to find clearance and there's a guy working in the aisle. Start talking to them a little bit before you know it. They're going to be volunteering information you didn't ask for. Like, oh yeah, this is where this is going to be going on sale later today. I've got to put it out. Or, uh, you know, you'd be amazed at what, how they'll help you out if they feel you're a good be person. Be like, hey, we've also got this. And that's the same thing with your sales. Is you can, you know, be saying, hey, yeah, we really love Lego. And I'll be like, well, you know what? I actually have some more inside. Let me go get that. Yeah. Definitely. You'll be surprised how much they'll open up to you and start telling you, well, you know, we do have this stuff. Like Amy said, we just hadn't drug it out. Didn't want to deal with it. You want to see it? Yeah, no. I'll look at it. <laughs> like, sure. Yeah. Let me see what you have. And I, I hate to say this, but something I've done going back to one of Amy's earlier tips, went to a uh, little yard sale, side of the road set up one time, and they had some Lego there. And I'm looking at it, and it's like, wow, Lego, hadn't seen that in a while. Kind of wonder if so-and-so would like it. And I use Gideon, which is the dog, of course, but they don't have to know Gideon's a dog. I wonder if Gideon would play with that. Well, I don't know. Well, maybe they would. What you got on this bag? Really? Five dollars? Hmm. I just don't know if he'd play with it. I might have to just get rid of it. I don't know. Would you do three or four? You know, and hey, it works sometimes. Yeah, because we really don't know if Gideon would play with it. It's not a lot. <laughs> okay, um, the last tip I'm going to give you, unless Tony has some more, is... Um, Let's say you're looking for furniture. I need a craft table for my office. And honestly, if I can find a piece that is well built, I don't care if it's like mustard yellow or, you know, whatever. I can paint it. I can change the hardware on it. And I can save a lot of money. A lot of people are not willing to do that. That's why you will see furniture like that for really really cheap you may even see it for free sometimes I'm bad with the free stuff because Tony's like I mean what are we gonna do with that <laughs> it's free I don't know <laughs> it's like it's missing a leg we'll find a leg <laughs> but you know also don't overwhelm yourself with projects because then you'll just have a garage that's full of stuff that you need to work on 
anyway, have fun at yard sales. They're a great way to save money. They're just fun to shop at. Especially those that just want rid of their stuff. You know, you can just go out just to do it, you know, as entertainment. You can have a list. So, you know, you can get the things you need for around your house without paying full, you know, full retail. Because there's so many things you don't want to pay full retail on. Trust me on this. Exercise equipment. Just, just trust me on that. <laughs> Yeah, they turn into big paperweights. Um, that's why people want to get rid of them. So cheap. Um, what else would you recommend that people not buy new? Well, I mean, it really just depends, you know. Sometimes, you can find a lot of books. Definitely books. I mean, even as far as appliances, you know, washers and dryers, you'll find stuff like that. Cheap. You know, and this really doesn't go with uh, yard sales. You know, we used to have this thing at our dump, which I kind of missed before they updated it. There was a little area off to the side where people would put stuff that was perfectly good, nothing wrong with it. They just didn't want it anymore and would set it there. So like Amy said, often we'd go through there, hey, is that a love seat over there? And I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't look too bad. Like she said, it's missing a leg. <laughs> well, you can fix that, right? <laughs> like, we don't know what's been on it, what's been done on it. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Couches or uh, couches, mattresses. Don't buy that stuff used. Just... Now, if you do, I mean, if you're, you know, if you're in a situation, we bought a used love seat when we first yeah. moved in together. There's ways to take care of it. In this area, there's even a company that sanitizes mattresses. And what they do is they bake them to like 10 trillion degrees for, you know, 35 years or whatever. And, you know, anything in there is dead. You That's know, still gross, though. Just saying. I mean, it's really hot skin sales. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just... Use your own judgment with stuff that you want to buy used. Um, I wouldn't buy used underwear. But I have bought clothes at thrift stores. Tony's looking at me going, Oh, do I need to wrap it up? <laughs> <laughs> Getting to the rambling point. Oh, sorry. I'm rambling. Yep, sorry. Okay, so that's it. Have fun with yard sales. Save you some money. You know, go to yard sales instead of going to the mall. Do people even go to the mall anymore? I mean, we go over once in a while and we just like kind of keep a list in our head of stuff to look for when we get home so we can buy it cheaper. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Yeah, I need to shut. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you never miss a video and never miss another frugal fun Friday <laughs> and I promise not to miss any more is well I can't make that promise I'll try not to miss any more 